you see a lot of kids, that elbow start dragging and collapsing right here and a lot of kids. You want something that may be gonna help your kid a little bit. Hopefully I can help you with that. Stay tuned, I got you a little drill for that, okay? And I got plenty. Make sure when that elbow is dropping a lot or like elbow getting in front of the hip too much, they don't have the right sequence. Make sure this elbow start pulled back or make sure the scalp pinch against the spine so they got the elbow back and that give time to the back leg start turning earlier than this elbow. Sometimes I see the kids that all upper body and they try to get here and they're not using this. Something that give me time so that elbow don't beat the, the back leg. I make sure when they separate, they feel pulling back right here, separate right here, pull back. That allow my back leg start working before my elbow start coming in. And another thing, make sure you work on that snap right here, quick with your hands. If you slow and you early and everything, normally this is what's gonna happen. You wanna make sure that everything stay back and create good separation with the elbow back. And when it's time to snap, to turn, have to be quick so let everything get deep and be quick so everything just kind of match together if you're too slow your body start getting or too slow and going too early you're gonna go slow because you're early and then you all oh, i'm early so you're gonna start doing all that make sure the elbow pull back so you give time to that back leg lead your back elbow and then from here you're gonna be quick that's why you have to let things get deep and then quick so you can turn behind it and just smash the ball that's the cactus league out in arizona Three, two. Deep to center. Reynolds back. Track. Wall. See ya. Oh, oh, oh. What a shot by Judge. Over the batter's eye. And the Yankees have pulled to within one. You know, Michael, we saw the flags and they were blowing towards right. That doesn't help this ball. That's just Aaron Judge. Screen. This is gonna help you a little bit with that. Another one can be doing that. You put your hands in the net on the wall somewhere, and when you land your heel, you're gonna turn your back leg, and you're gonna feel that your scalp is drop, is getting against the spine, going down to your back pocket. That way, that's something we do as a warm-up sometimes, so we can feel that lower body started the engine. Your back leg, your lower body, everything starts from the ground, and your back leg is the engine. Make sure that happens, then everything else come out. Come at the same time, but like, you start from the ground. You don't wanna be like, start too early and be like, either, right? But we wanna be like, everything have a sequence. You start from the ground up. Make sure your kid pull back when he separate, get the hands, and then at the same time he pull back, a scap going to the spine, Look at where the hand's at, right here, close to your shoulders, and that's what you want. You can start whatever, but when you get here in that stride and that separation, you're ready. And that gives time so you can get here and not here. Make the kid understand lower body, start everything like a tornado up, and make sure the kid is pulled back. So that gives a little room and time to get the lower body starting and the elbow don't beat your back leg. And everything has to be quick. Work on letting the things get deep and quick. You let things get deep and be quick. First of all, you see the ball better. And second of all, you will be quick with your hands, so that means you will have more power. And you will stay back. If you stay back, guess what? You can get behind the barrel, get in the zone early, and then you can get land rise behind the infield. We don't want to go in front and try to hit the ball in the ground. If that helped you, let us know. Comment, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. What else? YouTube, obviously. Subscribe. Comment below. Negative or positive, I got you. If you got any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.